Hey gorgeous, it's me Flavio and welcome back to my channel. But maybe that's your first time over here. If that's the case, thank you so much for tuning in. The video that you're gonna see today, it's a different video when you compare with the videos that I posted before. This is a behind the scene of how I came out with my newest promo look. And if you're wondering what it's a promo look, well, they are images that are used to promote myself, but also to announce that I'll be attending any specific event or something like that. Uh, for example, I do some live streams for a perfumery in my region, which is the Netherlands, and the perfumery is called Douglas. So this promo look is most likely to be used to announce my live stream on their platform. And if you want to see how I came out with the look, then you should watch this video until the end, all right? So for this specific look, I'll be wearing something that I've had in my kit for, I don't know how many years, maybe two years, but I never tried it before, not, not on myself. And I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking about this. You know where this is, huh? Those, <laughs> those patches that we can glue over here, just to snatch your face a little bit more. And I never use this on myself, at least not on camera. And I was wondering, oh, but shall I do it, shall I not? But I was like, come on, this is the internet. Where am I feeling? I mean, right? So let's see how this is going to come out. Um, curious to see the end result, maybe just as much as you are. So hold on. So for what I understood, we are supposed to use alcohol to remove any kind of greasiness, oiliness, something that might compromise the patch to stick on your face. So I have here 70% alcohol. It's the same kind of alcohol that I use to desanitize uh, the utensils that I use during a makeup application, but also other makeup products such as lipsticks or even eye pencils. So I did prep my skin properly, and but I'm just using this right on that area because this is where I want you to use the patch. Oh, I'm so curious. I'm gonna go first and you're gonna have here two cut out holes and that's what you're gonna use to fix the, yes, the strings to put backwards. So I'm just going to already remove it before I glue it on my face because maybe it make, it's gonna make my life a little bit easier. So we are supposed to peel off that part and What I'm trying to do, yes, exactly. I'm trying to, to raise the hairs on that area there. And then I'm, because then the hair, yes, the hair would fall out. Yeah, kind of, it's better than I thought. Oh my God. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, well, this side got a little bit better than this one, but doesn't matter, okay. So now we got those, the strings. This is for you to actually measure the tightness that you want to have on the string. So go to, I'm trying to go from the back of it. I'm trying. Okay, now the other side. So on this side, you have this hook there. And this is what you're gonna attach on those knots that we saw here on the back, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go, 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 go. Uh, it's just going to be... Now what I have to do here is just to... Yes. I think it could be a little bit tighter. Tighter, 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 tighter. Okay. I will start with the eyes. Why? Because the eyes are the, the focus of this look. It's going to be an eyeliner. I'm going to create a kind of a siren eyeliner on my eyes. But it's not going to be super thick or something like that. I'm gonna try to create more on the outer and inner corner. I will apply though a little bit of an eyeshadow base. What I'm gonna use here is the P. Louise in the number two. So I'm just gonna apply with a blending brush, very simple. It's not going to be very thick base. It's just to set what it's going to be later on, just a skin tone 
behind the eyeliner. So it's going to be right there. Same thing on the lower lash line. The thing is, you should not put too much, otherwise it will crease anyways. Like most of the eyeshadow bases, it does work better when you use the very minimal amount of product. I'm gonna play with the bronze palette from Kylie Cosmetics, because I think it's a nice palette to work with. I love the pigmentation, the payoff. To start, I'm gonna use a flat brush, something like that. I'm gonna go in the darkest color, which is brunette. I'm gonna go from the right from below here and there. But I'm not gonna go all the way on the on the roots of my lashes. Just gonna go right there and here. And I will almost I will try not to connect right in the middle. So And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go with my finger and just gonna pull it upwards slightly. This is going to give me a sort, a kind of a direction for where this eyeliner is going to go. It's a sketch only, huh? So far, just a sketch. Now getting it symmetric. Well, I don't know if you were blessed with a symmetrical face, but I wasn't. It isn't a bad face, but it isn't symmetrical. So every time I do eyeliners, I have some kind of difficulty trying to get the wings to the right directions because they are just not leveled <laughs> the same level. So, um, but let's see how I am going to work on it. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna start doing the inner corner. For this, I will use a angle brush, just like that, using the same color brunette. Just going to go right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. Right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab again a second flat brush, just like I used from the beginning, but now I'm gonna use other eyeshadows. I'm gonna use a slightly lighter one. I'm gonna be mixing Take Notes, Tell Me More and Unmatched. And what I want you to do is just like going and elongating this a little bit more. And again, just going to pull it up. Words right there, okay. And although this is looking a little bit like a blurry, like blurred all around, it's not like really sharp, I'm gonna make it very sharp. But later on, I'm gonna be coming back with a Q-tip to clean it up the edges. But now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back with brunette and I'm gonna go go back a little bit towards the crease, just the, the arch of my eye. This time then with brunette. And then we're gonna go right there, over here. Using this super narrow blending brush, I'm just going to smooth it up a little bit. You might be thinking like, but it wasn't an eyeliner. I know it's an eyeliner. And why are you going over there? I know, girl. It's just because I know my face and I know how this is going to look after on the picture. This is going to create an illusion that I do have a very defined and not a folded crease. But let's see right there. Now using the same brush, I'm gonna go back with Tell Me More from the bronze palette. And I'm just gonna go right there. Just to warm it up this area a little bit. Right now what I'm gonna do, I have already here some Q-tips and Actually, the best way to, to carve and clean up your face when you're creating this kinds of eyeliner is just using your saliva, but I do know this could be tricky and trick some people. So what I'm gonna do, I have this other product over here. This is from my cosmetics. It's called Fast Response Eye Cream. It's just like an eye cream, but it does contain quite um, a good amount of silicone, which acts almost as well as saliva. Of course not, it isn't saliva, but it do act a little bit more like saliva. Those, for example, for those going like, oh my God, but it's so unsanitary, well, which it is, but because I would do it myself, I wouldn't mind, but I would still use the Fast Response Eye Cream just to avoid any triggers for the ones watching it, okay? So let's do it. So what I'm gonna do is just going to rub the tip a little bit and I'm gonna start with the upper part. There we go, and on this side. There we go, there we go. Then right here, I'm going to slowly, I also want this to, to become very thin like really from the very outer corner of the of my eyelid there i think you can see already what's happening here and so i'm just going to go back with tell me more and mix a little bit with take notes and just going to go right below the socket of my eyes right there 
I'm gonna use the angle brush and this time what I will do I'm gonna need some black eyeshadow. Black eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics, the color Carbon. You might be wondering why did I go with the black eyeshadow from the beginning? Because I want to really slowly create this eyeliner. I might, I could lose the proportions very easily if I would go straight with the black. So that's the reason. Another thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some, some grayish, brown grayish ashy eyeshadow right over here, just because I love create some kind of drama on my inner corners. So I'm just going to go right there. But then pull them up or right here. Now what I want to is, I want to go a little bit of a lighter eyeshadow right in the movie I'm lit. I'm just gonna go with the, the bronze palette in the color Vanilla, right there. There we go, and on the other side right there. Using the same brush, just blend this out. I'm not worrying that this is like bleeding into the eyeliner because it's just like the reference of the eyeliner that I'm gonna be doing. Simply bring playing with light and shadow and how this is going to be looking. Right now I'm gonna go with vanilla right in between my eyebrows because I haven't done them yet. Just to highlight the brow bone. Now with the with a clean brush, I'm just going to blend to create a very nice smooth transition over here. For this part, I'll be using a very narrow and thin, sharp pen brush, just to pinpoint the exact amount of black that I want to use it. Just a tiny bit, don't know if you can see it. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Maybe so you know, I'll be shooting the promo images in a very moody light. So we're gonna be playing a lot with shadows. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to turn out. But now what I want you to do, as you can see on this side, it's kind of not really connected, the liner with the, the arch of my eye, or the crease if you will. And this is actually what I want you to do. So I'm gonna grab now a, a dry Q-tip, just to try to disconnect that and this also. I'm gonna do the actual eyeliner. So right now I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit of the fallout, which is not a lot, but because it's black, it's gonna mess it up my entire thing. I have no idea yet what I'm gonna do with my eyebrows. I'm gonna do just eyebrows or bleached eyebrows, so I don't know. So I still have a lot to do. Keep it up. For today's look, I'm gonna be using Natural Radiance by Nars Cosmetics. And by the way, I did a special review on this product with wear performance and everything. If you still haven't watched it, there's a link right up here where you can watch this video, okay? Using this guy over here. Let's do this. I'm gonna apply on the lower lash line just to avoid fucked up my whole look. What I'm gonna do is I have this this brush over here, which I, it's very convenient for mascara application when you want to be very precise in your application. Please 
By the way, these are no falsies. These are my own lashes, only using the Kai Lash Mascara from Kylie Jenner. Haters will hate, we can say whatever you want to, but it speaks for itself. And by the way, I create a special video about this mascara where I actually don't say a word about it. It's just me, no cuts, applying this mascara. If you haven't seen it, there's a link with this video right up here. Take your chance to look at or after this video, of course. And now just to finish up the entire look, I'm going to apply a lip gloss. I'm using here Coco K by Kylie Cosmetics. All right, all right, all right. So that's the look. That's the look, darling. That's the look, darling. But before we go on, let me just put something more comfortable. Hold on, okay? Yeah, that's, that's much better. So that's the outfit for the promo images. I think it's very appropriated. Don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> well, I still have to record and to shoot the images, but as you can see, this is a little bit how I came up with the look, all right? Guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it. Of course, it's a different video that I used to do for you, but I really have fun doing this, okay? So please remember to like and share this video and to subscribe to my channel because it does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos towards a larger audience. And I do appreciate every help towards achieving my next goal, which is 5,000 followers, all right? Again, guys, thank you so much for all your time, love and support, and I see you all next time. Bye-bye.